Everything I give to you. Everything I give to you. We told it nothing. We told it nothing. I surrender. As the show is in two minutes. things and then off we go home. Just set up your mind for the word of God. I'm just going to talk about five or keys on how to be successful in the kingdom of God. On how to be successful in the kingdom of God. This is the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, we need to be successful. But there are ways. That's why last, that's why last, I think last week, we were talking about the verse 33 in Mark chapter 6. Last week, school man on Matthew 6, verse 33. If I'm not mistaken, woman gets it put. You can read it for me. Sing I found her. Quickly. From verse 33. Got your funani gugala. That is a principle number one. That is a principle. Come on, come on, class. That's a principle number one. Seek the kingdom of God. You understand me? Seek the king. That's a principle number one. If you want to be successful in the kingdom of God, unless you, unless you want to be a church goer, because in the house of God there are two types of Christians. There are those who are just a church goers who are enjoying to come to church, and those who are people who are who are serving God. There is a difference to serve God and just to be a church member or the church goer. If you are the church goer, I like the, the, the one that you are calling now. If you want to be a church goer, you just a person to come in 
and out. Try no change in your life. No progress in your life. You just put your join and go to church and join the church. There are people who are like that in the church. And there are people who are in the church to serve God. And those people who are in the church who are serving God is those people who want to be successful in life. You know, in church, there are people who are like goats in the house of God, in the church. Let me tell you something, what, what you found in the kingdom and what you found in the church. In the kingdom of God, you don't find goats. But in the church, it's easy to find goats. Hallelujah. Jesus. In the kingdom of God, there is no goats. But in the kingdom of God, you only found sheep. But in the house of God, you only found goats. That's why in the church there's a lot of goats. Where the goat comes together, definitely there is a fight. But when the sheep comes together, there is peace. There is no noise. You see, to be in the kingdom is totally different than being in the church. To be in the church and to be in the kingdom are two different things. The kingdom of God is something that differs from the church. In the church, you found gossipers. That is a church. In the church, you found gossipers. But in the kingdom of God, you found peacemakers. That is a kingdom of God. But in the church, you found a lot of gossipers. You found people who are good to talk about other people. But they are the Christian. In the church, you found people who are very good to mark the sermon. This sermon was not powerful. The, this one is very powerful. In the church, you found those people. But in the kingdom of God, when God speaks, everybody look at itself and say, Lord, speak to me. Say, Lord, mold me, make me, shape me. Give me the direction. It's the people who are in the kingdom of God. Because people who are in the kingdom of God, they only worry about their future. But the people in the church, they don't care about their future. They only care about the present moment. What about now? But the people of the kingdom, they are always hungry for their future. They want to know more God. They are interested to know God. You remember the story of that woman. The woman, that woman was the woman who found Jesus. When Jesus was passing and that woman came to, came to fresh water. The Samaritan, yeah, the Samaritan woman, yes. The Bible tells us very clear that this woman, that woman, I don't, I don't want to mention the name, but I will say the woman with the appetite of men. Is, that woman, she got a lot of appetite. But when he came across Jesus, when he met Jesus, he was he 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 was like trying to attract Jesus. He, she was using the same skills that she used to attract other men. Unfortunately, he came to a wrong person. 
That woman was a church goer. He knows everything about church. He knows everything what is going to happen. But the problem, the appetite was there. It's not that he doesn't know anything about church. He knows everything about church. Look what happened during the conversation with Jesus. He, she said to Jesus, Now I know you are the one. You are the priest. Meaning that lady, she knew very well there is a priest that is coming. It means she knows the things of the church. But the problem is not in the kingdom of God. People who are not in the kingdom of God, they know everything about the kingdom, but they are not in the kingdom. Let, let me talk about point number one. Seek his kingdom. In another way, in another way, you must know the kingdom of God. How, how it's worked. You can't be in the kingdom of God and you don't understand the ways, His ways. If you are in this kingdom, you must understand. Number one, seek His kingdom. Number two, that you need you can write it down. Find the purpose of God about your life. Oh, Don't come to church without knowing what is the purpose of God about my life. If you do not know, you will become a church goer. Number two. Number two. Discover. Your, the purpose of God about your life. Why? I'm living. Yes, there are people who are just living. Because they are living. They are breathing. What is the purpose of God about my life? What is the purpose of God about my life? Don't live the life. I'm just going to the church uh, in Pinetown. What is the purpose of God about your life? If you don't know the purpose of God about your life, look what is going to happen to your life. The purpose of God about your life. It's very important to understand. Don't live the life. For the sake of living. Reading the Bible. For the sake of reading the Bible. Read the Bible. With the understanding. What is the plan? Number two, number three. Once you discover the purpose of God about your life, you must start now to focus. Focus. Oh, hallelujah. You know why you are not focusing? You know why you are not focusing? It's because you do not know the plan of God about your life. A person who is not in the plan. Who doesn't know what they are living for. He won't even mind going to pavilion and not knowing what they are going there to do. He won't even mind that person doesn't have a purpose about their life. 
Mangabe tenders on Aushan, we are tenders. Mangabe, Kumbi, now we are. Umangabe, Kuziwa, now we are. Whatever that is happening, Nalesos cut, we are going. That person doesn't have any. I eat it to no girl. There's nothing that you say no to. I eat it to no. This one. Because umdonjan umdonjan on the boyan's purpose siake. It's a person who knows their purpose. Inga kusi na bazalwan magli obayan. It's why we have Christians. They are swearing. Whatever is going on, scat bazalwan. Bye. Whatever is happening at that particular why? time, they partake of why? it. Why? Why? It's because. Inge inga yoguti. They don't know. The purpose of God about their life. A Christian who discovered his the purpose of God about his life. That person is not a problem even in the church. He knows, he knows the purpose of God about his life. When he entered the door, he knows why I am here. He began by Salon. He knows or she knows why I am here. But the one who doesn't know long as Azi will just come Uzoza two minutes in the toilet. Three minutes. And then go outside. And then he comes in and sits. He doesn't he doesn't know Agazazi. Look what happened to David. David. Or st- start from, start uh, verse 2. Uh, start from the book of Job. Job chapter 2, verse 2. Job chapter 2. Verse 2. No, no. Chapter 42, verse 2. I'm sorry. Chapter, the last book, verse 2. Geazi Uguti Unganza Gonke Alina Uvinja Isabola. You see the statement here. We are seeing the Kulunwala. The job was under attack. Utobe why Sasselegi. Devil attacks Job. Satan M. Sassela Utobe. He took everything that belongs to Job. And Job was sick at the time. But look at the statement. Pere got to go to tea. Do you think, do you think you, yourself, if you can, in the situation where Job was, do you think you can speak like Job? Or you can say God is far away from you, or God doesn't like me. But look what happened. Look, look the response from Job. He says, I know that you can do anything. Anything. But the plan. But the purpose. Nothing can stop the purpose. About my life. But the purpose of God. The plan Lord that you have. Nothing can stop it. This is a person. Oh yes, listen to me. Yes, oh, who knows? Don't live life without knowing the purpose of God about your life. The purpose of God about your life is not eating and sleeping and to the toilet. Toilet. Go to the toilet. It's not only food and going to work. I'm not, not going to speak about prayer because we don't even pray. Let's try. You try to get something, but you don't get it. You try to get You try to get money. You try to get a job. You try to lift your life up, but nothing happens. Why? Because you are not in his purpose. Come on. 
Once you are in his purpose, you don't chase the things. You don't chase the things. The things are following you. You don't chase money. You don't chase beauty. You don't chase fame. If you are in his purpose, you just focus on his purpose and serve the purpose. Once you discover the purpose of God, serve the purpose. Because it's useless to discover the purpose and you don't serve the purpose. You need to serve the purpose of God about your life. Serve the purpose. That's why the Bible says David David after he served the purpose of God, he fell asleep. The Bible doesn't tell us after he has achieved so many things. After he has achieved so many cars, the Bible doesn't tell us nothing about his cars. The Bible doesn't tell nothing about his wealthy. But the Bible tells us about it. You are here. What are you serving? What are you doing? What are you serving? Let me tell you something, Masala. It's you, you, you understand this thing. There are people who just come to just, okay. just for coming. Let me put it this way. There are people who are still under the law. Who are coming to church because my parents told me that every Sunday I need to go to church. But they don't know nothing. They don't serve in the house of God. They don't do anything. But they are I'm going to church. 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 It's a church Sunday. I'm just going to church. What are you going to do to church? Doesn't matter. What have you come to church to do? Let me tell you, there are people who are who, who, who sometimes comes to church because they, because they are in trouble. They are come to church because they are they, 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 they are looking for pastor to pray. That's why if I if I say I don't I'm not going to pray for anyone, you see that person, he will take his back and go because he's seeking for prayer. Those who are seeking for prayer. Because they they, 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 don't, they don't have any idea how to serve God. Let me just close it's in van. for today because of time. One, discover the purpose of God about your life. Why has God brought you here? Let me tell you, as if all of us from that corner, from that corner, I can that's why Paul, Paul say in the book of Corinthians. That's why Paul is saying in the book of Corinthians. Why that when you when you gather? He's talking about who are in the purpose of God. When you gather. When you gather. If you come and we come together to build the body of Christ. What do you bring in the house of God? What role are you playing in the kingdom of God? You must understand this thing in life. Jesus played his role. He went to the cross alone. 
There was no apostle who went to the cross. There's no prophet who went to the cross. That was his role. He went to the cross. He carried the cross. Remember when he was carrying the cross. There is a guy, the African guy, who had to try to assist Jesus. And Jesus looked at him and said, No, I can see you are trying to help me. But you don't understand. Understand, this is my role. Wait for your role. Don't try to assist me. It is my role to carry the cross. That guy was trying to play his role. And Jesus knew very well. This is my role. To carry the cross. What is your role? In the kingdom of God. It's not to come and sit down and eat and drink and go. What is your role in the kingdom of God? Jesus played his role. He played his role. He bring the salvation to us. We are saved through his blood. But what is your role? Yes, you accept him as a Lord and Savior. But what is your role in the kingdom? What is your role? You want to be successful in life. You want to be blessed by Jesus. Play your role, my brother. Don't play somebody's role. Play your role. Jesus played his role. What is your role? What is your role? Why are you here? Why? Know your role. You know, if you don't know your role, you will end up marking all other people. People who are busy playing their role. You will be questioning what is this person doing? What is this one is going to the front while people are praying. Even this one is speaking in tongues. Even this one must prophesy today. You see, play your role. Play your role. Play your role. Know your role. What is your role in the kingdom of God? I'm done. That's a question. Know your role. What is your role in the kingdom of God? You are expecting God to bless you. But you come down and, and fold your, 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 your leg. And expecting God to bless you. And there are people who come to a church and sort in. Who are playing their role in the house of God. When those people are playing their role. Get their blessing. You start to say, Oh, Unkulukulu, I'm shooting me nagang busis. What is your role? God is only for them. Yes, in the Maya. Let me explain this thing. It's in Ishaloku. Look. Pega. First Timothy. Timothy Kala. Chapter two, verse four. Quickly. Chapter two, verse four. I'm just gonna tell you about the role. It's very important to know the purpose of God about your life. Funda nga nem shesh, shesh. O tanda, ugu baba nti bo, keba sindi nswe. Ba finyelele egula zini iki nisu. Go to John 10, chapter 10. John 10, verse 10. I'm just going to tell you the rule. In John chapter 10, God, Jesus is telling us about his role. And the role of devil. What about your role? John chapter 10, Jesus telling in the Maya and the Maya Satan. Eyako itini. Isaila, Kalis. This is the role of devil. In the Maya Satan. Wait, wait, I still analyze. This is the role of devil. In the Maya Satan. Isaila, Kalis. This is the role of devil. In the Maya Satan. That is playing on earth. Funda ganam. 
Jesus is telling us about the role of devil on, on earth. Because every person who's on earth must play his role. Every who's on earth must have a role to play. This is the role of devil. Why devil come on earth? This is the responsibility of devil. When devil is destroying, don't blame devil. Don't blame devil. He's doing his role. He's playing his role. When devil attack you with the demons, don't fight with devil. He's playing his role. He's playing his role. He's playing his role. What's the role of devil? Now wait, wait, wait. The plan of devil, the role of devil is what? Is to steal. Is to steal. And what? And kill. Not just to kill. Above killing, destroy. When devil is destroying our youth, don't blame devil. <laughs> He's playing his role. What your role are you playing? We need to wake up and play our role. Devil is destroying our children. Devil is destroying our asset. Devil is destroying us. Wake up. Don't blame devil. Play Say devil, if you play yours, I am ready to play mine. I am not going to to feel shaken because of you. I am going to play my role. What is your role? This is the plan. This is the purpose. This is Jesus. He says, oh He talks about heaven and he talks about him. He says, I. But the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. And the devil is very fit to kill. He's very fit to destroy. And he's got all plans how to destroy you. Because he's, a, he's specializing in killing, in stealing, and in destroying. He's specializing. That authority, that authority of killing and stealing and destroying Jesus from heaven confirms the authority the devil that he does. He is the killer. Jesus is the witness. That devil is a killer. Jesus is the witness. The devil is a destroyer. Jesus is the witness. The devil is a thief. This is the word. This is Jesus himself. He's talking about devil's role. Wait, Jesus. Is very clever. He says, now you know the role of devil. Let me tell you about my role. This is mine. Look, what, look, look at the role. Jesus is playing his role. And devil is playing his role. No one is marking one another. The, the, the role of the daughter of devil is to steal. And destroy. But the role of Jesus is to bring life. Not just the ordinary life, but abundant life. This is my role. It's up to you to choose. If you want your life to be destroyed, you go decide. I'm not going to argue with devil, but I have to play my role. When I came on earth, 
I came on earth. I came with life. When the devil came on earth, he came as a thief. I came on earth just to, for you to have life, not just ordinary life, but abundant life. The devil, when he came on earth, he came on earth to destroy. My brother, you can destroy them. Play your role to destroy them. But I am playing my role. In the Bible, I never ever had Jesus attacking devil and say, devil, what are you doing? The only thing that Jesus says to his disciples, when the disciples were happy, he says, I saw devil comes like a lightning or from heaven to earth. He is amongst you. Now he never say anything, but he says, those who believe in me, I am telling you, those will fly like an eagle, not like a bird, but like an eagle. Those who believe in me, this is my role. Those who believe in me will fly like an eagle, but those who don't believe in me will end up walking on earth. And I'm sorry for them because devil cannot destroy the eagle because the eagle is flying on top of everything. Even the plane doesn't reach the level of the eagle. Hey, be a eagle. Be a eagle. So the devil what is trying to attack you you see we are born now in salvation it's in this way we've got our road pastor so guess in the our road son to play Jesus wants his own play. Let me tell you something. Finish my, 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 my verse. My Jesus. When God instructed who Adam when he was telling Adam where, which seed to eat and not eat. The, the, the devil was there go and read the scripture Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 go and read the scripture Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 God didn't say as I'm telling you now the devil is listening to you be careful he's going to attack you you know why because she is God. Trusted Adam. That Adam must know his responsibility. Adam must know his role. He knew very well the devil is around. But he didn't say anything about the devil. He said, look here. You will eat all these things. Except the one in the middle. The devil was there. And after that, God disappear. So he was telling Adam his role. The role of, of Jesus is to bring life to you. Not just the ordinary life. But abundant. But the responsibility of devil the role of devil is to destroy you. Go, 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 go. Go to that verse. First Timothy. Yeah, go to first go to Timothy. Who shall deliver? Chapter two, verse four. I'm just talking about yours now. I'm finished. I'm finished with the man. I'm not on my side. Phone. Atanda, ugo baba njuma ungeba city. This is Paul. Now I'm talking, I'm talking about Paul. You can still can stand on your feet. I'm Paul. This is an apostle. 
This is just a human being like me and you. He's just telling us about the role of Jesus. He says now, Jesus, Jesus, he wants everybody to be saved and come to the knowledge of salvation. That is the purpose of Jesus. Yes. No, 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 no. no. Now is is Paul. Now telling these people that there is only one mediator between God and a human being. That is Jesus. That is the response. No, but that is the role of Jesus. But look what is happening. What is your role? Now, Paul says he wants everybody to be saved. He wants. He introduced salvation. But he, he, he's not forcing you to be saved. Because for you to be saved is not the responsibility of Jesus. 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 Jesus, Ujesu. bring the salvation to us. In, in another word, Ujesu. Jesus said, Ujesu. everyone Ujesu. who needs to come to me Ujesu. must come and take this bottle. Ujesu. That Ujesu. is my responsibility. And Ujesu. He doesn't Ujesu. grab you. Ujesu. Say, you don't understand me. Ujesu. I am Jesus. Ujesu. Ujesu. Take, take this Ujesu. bottle. Ujesu. Take this bottle. He doesn't do that. He plays his role. He, he says, My role is to bring salvation. And my other role is to come and take my salvation. I, I Those who are in the spirit, they will, they will understand. His role. Is to bring the salvation. I am Jesus. I am bringing my salvation. I am putting my salvation here. Let me go and chat with my father and wait for my father. I'm waiting. The salvation is there. There's a time that I'm coming. When I am coming back, I'm not coming for you, but I'm coming for my salvation. It means everybody who wants me, he needs to be there on my salvation. I'm not going to chase you. I am not going to wake you up and say I'm coming. I am going to my salvation. If you want me, Go to my salvation. Jesus is in heaven with his father. He's just chatting his father. He's waiting. He's just looking at his salvation. The time is coming when Jesus is coming to take his salvation. Those who are under his salvation when he takes his salvation. When he takes his salvation. They will be under that salvation. That is his role. That's why the Bible says, I am standing in your door. Knocking in your door. It's up to you that you are open or you are not open. It's not my responsibility to open. My responsibility is to know your responsibility. Go and ask these people who were praying for Petru. They were in the room praying for Petru. Petru didn't open the door. The responsibility of Petru was to knock. The responsibility of the angel was to release Petru from jail and taking Petru straight to the door. When he arrived, he didn't say, Petru, these people are here. So I am going to open the door. The problem, Petru, 
to open the door is not my responsibility. My responsibility was to take the chain out of you. My responsibility was to open the jail door. I am done with my responsibility. I played my role. I am done. Petro, the people who are praying for you are here. Bye bye. Petro, bye bye. I'm going heaven. I've done my role. I've played my role. And the angel went back. And Pet was alone. When God was keep on knocking. Was keep on knocking. That was his role. Was to knock. But the role. Of these people who are inside. Is their role to open. But look what happened. They failed to play their role. They keep on playing. Back keep on praying and practice keep on knocking that's what is happening in your life your blessing is at the door your blessing cannot open the door your blessing cannot open the door your blessing is knocking your responsibility is to open the door and grab the blessing. But the problem, you don't understand your role Lift up your hands. Paramis is under Zab. You must know your role. Yes, into my What are your role in the kingdom of God? You need to my yak and Busuan and Gulugo. Gulugo has a Busi Sumeziluto. God will not bless you if you are doing nothing. God does not bless the spectators. Gulugo Arabu, Arabu Sisi, who are coming to church. Have you seen the spectators? Yesterday, Izolo. Pirate was beating by a sundown. Pirate is away, sundown. You know who were crying? Oba na bebe kan. You know who were crying? Oba na tebe kan. You can go to change room. Umunga ema ema change rooms. The pirate players are not crying. Aba kalbe pirates bebe kan. They are looking for the mountain. Bona ba pegi mountain. Lose or not lose. Lose, but they are waiting for the Amazon. But the spectators are the one who's crying. Don't feel sorry for me. If I pray at one o'clock on radio, don't feel sorry for me. If two o'clock I'm on another radio, don't feel sorry for me. Don't feel very sorry for me. This is my role. What about your role? You are the spectator. You sit in there and watching. And expecting God to bless you. What is your role? Jesus. Don't feel sorry for a person who's playing their role. My wife will preach here and there. I will feel sorry for her. There's no need for me to feel very sorry. That is your role. My is coming. One o'clock so she will call. And I have to go and pray. And, and, and I am play. not ashamed. Because I am playing my role. If you are playing your role, nobody pushes you. Nobody tells you. You just wake up at one o'clock and go. This is your role. You know your role. But if you don't know your role, lift up your hand. I just want to pray with you today. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Don't feel sorry for a person who's playing a role. Feel sorry for yourself. Because you don't have a role to play. Sure. Jesus. Pirate lost yesterday. Who were crying? The spectators. If you can go to the players. When they finished the game. Hey, how's it look? Sound down the pirate. They say, I a they say uh, let's meet in the after yeah, party enjoy. tonight. By I enjoy. Job and Allah is crying. Go to Job, we the are crying. Pirate the pirate lost. It's truly one nil. One nil. He, does, he doesn't even 
have time with their kids. Because of pirate. He's crying. crying. We are calm. But the pirate players are shaking hands. You know these people they are their friends. We'll meet in the party afternoon. But who's crying? Is the spectator. Don't feel sorry for me. If I go to this man at one o'clock, praying with him, you know why? I am playing my role. It's one o'clock, but I'm playing my role. You know the reason I'm playing my role? I'm just focusing. I'm just serving the purpose of God. What, what about you? Can I pray with somebody? Who are saying, Bab Mazala? I need to understand. I need to God to help me to discover the purpose of God about my life. Please come forward and we pray with you. I need the purpose of I need God to help me. I need, I need, I need, I need God to reveal the purpose. I don't want to live the life of being a spectator. I want God to bless me. Bless the doors. Shut up. Come. Lift up your hands. We are praying. I'm very sorry for keeping you so long. Until half past one is not our time. Make sure we are finishing at 12 o'clock. But because of today, that's why we are late. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. When this is my prayer to you. God, move. You must open your eyes. The spiritual eyes so that you can see your role that you need to play in the kingdom of God. Let's why some other people they are saying, Abba food is but twelve. No, I was twelve, but twelve. Abba 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 twelve. Jesus. I'm playing my role and focus to God who called me. Jesus. Once I play, I'm going to get a candle for you to go. Jesus. Jesus. And it's not in my hands to be blessed, it's in your hands. Jesus. So I play my role. You must know your role. Yes, in the kingdom of God. Lift up your hands. Let me just pray for you. See, I'm the same. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They are coming to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of our living God. Open. 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 Bagwaz mona the role to play in your kingdom. Father, I pray a commendiga Jesu Christ was a Nazareta. Babona Manta Onke. Give them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, revelation of their role in the church. Give them the revelation. Give them the revelation. Give them the revelation, Lord. Give them the revelation. In the name of Jesus, give them the revelation. Give them the revelation cause in the mighty name of Jesus. Which role to play in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give them the responsibility. Give them, Lord, the, 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 the vision in Jesus' mighty name. Let us lift up our hands so that we can bless the church and go home. To me, God is speaking to us. Go home and ask God. God, what are my role to play? <laughs> if you've got the role in the kingdom of God, I am telling you, nothing will stop you. The blessing is yours. The blessing is yours. Who wants to be blessed by God? 
Who wants to be blessed by God? Lift up your hands. It's simple to be blessed by God. Know your role. Go and play your role. Once you play your role and God will play his role. Lift up your hands. Right now, see now, I'm just going to play. It's not me who are going to heal him. I have to play my role and pray. And God, Jesus, who is the healer, is going to heal him. Already, as I'm laying my hands upon her, the hands of Jesus is upon my head. Jesus is using my hands. Just to heal her. It's not me. It's not about me. It's about Jesus. Don't give me more extra selling. Get Kamalika Church. Get it all, Shamanch. As I'm chasing these spirits, even the heaven also chasing the spirits that are tormenting your life. Be free in Jesus' name. Go home. Get Kamalika Church. Was in Nazareth. Whatever spirit that is after your life, let get to tool. Isululia approve jenga manch. Gei kosha lo moya shanga kamalga chesu. Joba ngi kosha ne zululia kosha. Isanta ska chesu spezwako to deliver you. In Jesus name, you are free. In Jesus name. Let me pray. Lift up your hands so that we can pray. Omunyel, yes Lord. Galway. Okay, this one. Father, I pray right now. Ape Pugil. So zombie. Father, I pray right now. Get Kamalga Chesu Christ was a Nazareth. I stop this spirit. Get Kamalga Chesu Kulum Pila Peswak. Get Kamalga Ches. No my wing goes. O Puga and Jalunga, we are like Kamalga Ches. Go Vala Mash in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we thank you. Kulungula Tongwell. Baba, sesi dalili yeti part. Sesi amba se makai. Let your blessing cause you to get a place where to. Eka men liga chesu kresting cause you to thank you Lord. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen.